Hi guys, this is Gaz on Full Time Devils. Now with all the talk over who Manchester United could sign this transfer window, will it be Maguire? Will it be Fernandez? Will it be Dybala? Will it be all three? Hey, a boy can dream. Anyway, that got us thinking, this would be a good time to look back at some of the good signings that we've made since Sir Alex Ferguson has retired. Now, I know what you're thinking. Good signings since Fergie's retirement. Gaz, that's slim pickings because let's face it, for every Daily Blind, you've had a Morgan Schneidlin. For every Luke Shaw, you've had a Matteo Darmian. Actually, that one's pretty harsh, isn't it? He's all right. But there's plenty of players who have helped stop Man United's post-Fergie era being a total disaster. Okay, in at number five, it's Ander Herrera. Ole, ole, Ander Herrera. We all liked him on the pitch, didn't we? He really played with passion. He played like a fan on the pitch. That's why I liked Ander Herrera. Master of shithousery, wasn't he, Herrera? We are going to miss him next season. Whether it's the dark arts of football that we are going to miss from him, you know, the rolling around on the pitch to complaining about the referees, but also very hard-working player. 29 million quid, 189 games, 20 goals, an FA Cup, a League Cup, a Europa League. Decent tenure for Ander Herrera at Manchester United, I think. Number four is a player on this list because I still think he has so much left to give for Manchester United. It was a difficult start at the club for Victor Lindelof. He was hot and cold. We, some weeks he'd be brilliant, some weeks he'd be making mistakes. But last season, I think he was not only our best defender, but our best player. And going into next season, I do think he's the defender we can rely on the most. Still a very young lad. He's going to improve. Yeah, I think he could be a great player for Manchester United. Already proved it for Sweden. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the future holds for Levicta Lindelof. He cost us 45 million euros. And you look at the prices some of the defenders are going for nowadays. And you think, you know what? That's actually quite a decent deal. Especially if in a few years he gets us right back to the top. Winning the big trophies. Now, next player on the list is a player that I thought was going to be a star. I mean, he still might be. There's still plenty of hope. But based on his debut, we expected massive things from Anthony Martial. I think he's shown some great glimpses and some real world-class touches while at United. Who can forget that semi-final goal in the FA Cup against Everton? I say who can forget. I, I, I forgot because I was pissed. <laughs> But yeah, remember when he first arrived and he was being called a waste of money on the back of the papers and the English press really had it in for him? And then his debut happened, cutting in on that left-hand side against Liverpool. Oh, it was one of my favourite moments of the last few years at Manchester United, as was that goal in the semi-final against Everton. A lot of people have questioned his work rate and his attitude of late, but I still think Anthony Martial, with the right creative players around him, could become a great player for Manchester United, whether it's on the left wing, whether it's up front. I'm still confident there's a place for Tony in this team. Please prove me right, Tony. Please. 174 games for Manchester United and 48 goals. Let's not forget, he is still only 23 years old as well, so hopefully loads more to come for Anthony Martial. He's won an FA Cup, he's won a League Cup, and he's won a Europa League while he's been here. Okay, second from the top of this list is a player who, um, well, he's certainly controversial in the eyes of Manchester United fans. Uh, we sold him, we brought him back, we spent a lot of money on him. I'm talking about Paul Pogba, of course. Now, some people absolutely lose their shit when talking about Paul Pogba. But let's face it, when he's on his A game, he's our best player by a mile. He is our most talented footballer. And when Pogba's on it, I love to watch it. Do you remember the season with Zlatan where we won the Europa League? How good that link-up play between those two was. It was like they were on a, on a separate dimension mentally to everyone else in the team. It was incredible. I love Paul Pogba when he's at his best. And hopefully, if we can get him feeling good about his football and we can get him feeling good about training and feeling good about Manchester United, he can smash it next season. I hope that Oli can convince him that he's at the right place. Come on, Paul. We need you next year, man. Paul Pogba, 135 games at Manchester United and 31 goals. But let's not forget that is in two stints, but he didn't play much the first time. Yeah, he cost us a lot of money, 89 million quid, and he could be more consistent, but last year, topping our goals and assist charts, he could go on to do even greater things next season if his head's in the right place. So Paul Pogba, second on our list. So who is number one in this list of best Manchester United post-Ferguson signings? For me, there's only one choice. He's a player who exemplifies everything Manchester United used to be about. And you know what? I wish he came here five, ten years earlier. Slatan Ibrahimovic. Oh, what a man. 
I absolutely love Zlatan. He was only here for one season and we actually finished sixth that, that year. But what a season it was. We won the Europa League. We saw some great goals towards the start of the season. Zlatan and Pogba were just oh, unbelievable. 29 goals, two trophies and a late Wembley winner. Zlatan Ibrahimovic was exactly what we needed to restore that Manchester United swagger. Zlatan was just Zlatan. Okay, so they are our top five post-Ferguson Manchester United signings. Let us know what you think about it in the comments below or on Twitter or on Instagram. You know where to find us. Let's have a discussion at Full Time Devils or you can find me personally at Radio underscore Gaz. Give us a subscribe. We're going to be doing loads of top fives throughout the season. So any top fives that you want to see, get your suggestions in the comments below. We want to see it. Uh, right, we'll catch you next time. Right, see you in a bit. Laters.